Tig here again. In today's video, we are doing a deep dive comparison between the AI scores of Academy.cx and the big one that most of my subscribers care about, Turnitin. This is a video that a few of you have asked for. Is Academy.cx legit or is it a scam? Can this tool accurately tell you your Turnitin similarity or plagiarism and AI scores? Answers coming soon. But first, I want to be completely completely transparent about how this channel works and how you can become a critical part of it. You've probably noticed that this channel is different. There are no sponsored videos, no affiliate links, and no paid promotions. Everything here is 100% transparent and totally independent to guarantee that the information you get is trustworthy and unbiased. I'm not going to lie to you about some humanizer to trick you into clicking an affiliate link. I show my face on screen. I use my real voice. I show you the Turnitin interface. I am an educator and a published researcher on the topic of AI in higher education. I am a native English speaker and you know you can trust me when I evaluate the quality of AI writing and expose the deficiencies in many of the tools that are marketed to students. The reality is that I'm a full-time academic and every hour that I dedicate to researching, recording and editing these videos is an hour taken directly from work that furthers my career. I do this because I believe students and educators need honest and high quality information about AI in higher education, but to keep this channel sustainable or to fund even more ambitious projects, I need your help by becoming a channel member for for as little as 99 pence, you directly support my independent work. In return, you get great perks like early access to videos, exclusive content, and most importantly, you get a big say in what you'd like to see from the channel in the future. As a member, you can directly influence the videos that I create. The higher the tier, the more control you have. If you value what I'm doing here, please consider clicking the join button now. It's the single best way to not only ensure this channel continues, but gets even better. Shout out to Burning Potato 77 and B Murphy for being the first channel members. I thank you for your support. If you too have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know. I will be prioritizing what you'd like to see. Right, thank you for listening. Now let's get to the main event academy.cx versus Turnitin. In a recent video about which AI detector provides scores that are most similar to Turnitin's, we tested four documents. A ChatGPT essay, an undetectable AI humanized version of that essay, some human writing, and another ChatGPT essay written in long form prose. These documents were chosen for their different characteristics so that a good comparison could be made between the Turnitin AI detector scores and the scores from other AI detectors. In this video, we are going to compare the similarity or plagiarism scores and AI scores that we get from academy.cx to the reports and scores for similarity and AI that we get through the authentic version of Turnitin that I am accessing through my university. This is what markers see when evaluating your submissions. First, we're uploading all four documents to academy.cx. It's kind of annoying that we have to upload the documents one at a time instead of all in one go, but fine. You have to upload them one at a time with Turnitin 2. Academy.cx works fast and you can access your report for the upload after about a minute and a half. By clicking view results, you can see a summary of what Academy.cx predict your Turnitin similarity or plagiarism score is likely to be and what the AI score for the document is also likely to be. Please note here that Academy.cx are stating that they predict the AI score is 13%, though this is not shown by Turnitin due to the risk of false positives or erroneously flagging human writing as AI. Let's download all the Academy.cx similarity and AI reports and compare them to the similarity and AI scores and reports we get for these documents in Turnitin. All the Academy.cx and Turnitin reports that you see in this video can be accessed by clicking the link in the description if that kind of thing interests you.
Turns out I still have the four documents we're interested in saved in my Turnitin. I didn't delete them since I recorded the last video where I examined which AI detector provides the scores that are most similar to Turnitin. The Rhine AI report feature was the winner in that video, though Academy.cx could be even better than that if it provides not only accurate scores, but accurate reports that show which parts of the text are flagged. Let's start by looking at the ChatGPT essay. For this, we get a similarity score of zero. This is not unusual with AI-generated text. If I ever see a score that low, I'm smelling an AI rat with a submission. The similarity or plagiarism score flags parts of the text that are similar to an original work. As students are learning how to paraphrase existing sources during their research and writing, often this score can be high. AI is just a word probability machine, and it isn't repeating any text verbatim from an original source. So usually the similarity or plagiarism score is very low or zero, as it is in this case. The AI score is unknown percent. This is some number between 1 and 19% of the text being flagged as AI, though Turnitin refuses to say the exact figure or which parts are flagged to avoid false positives. Now let's have a look at the Academy.cx similarity and AI reports. The similarity score is correct at zero, and the report looks decent and very like one produced by Turnitin. The AI report looks good too, though at the top it says 13 asterisk percent detected as AI. Let's look at the differences between the Academy.cx report and the real Turnitin report that university markers see. You'll notice that the Academy.cx report has no cover page and starts from page 2. The Turnitin one has a cover page with information about the document and it does not specify the AI score. Giving an AI score of asterisk percent is what illustrates that the report is genuine. The Turnitin AI detector does not provide scores between 1 and 19%. The fake and legit reports look very similar, and both have similarly formatted submission IDs in the top right hand corner. We'll have a peek at the undetectable AI humanized document now. It's another 0% similarity score and a 0% AI score. The Academy.cx similarity score is the same, and there's nothing to see in the report because nothing was flagged. The functionality to generate real Turnitin similarity reports for documents where nothing is flagged is hard to locate so we'll compare similarity reports later in the video. However, I will note here that, like the AI report, the similarity report from Academy.cx starts from page 2. Let's look at the legit AI report. It's got a cover page. The Academy.cx report starts from page 2. Other than that, they look the same and the scores are identical. There's nothing interesting to say about this as none of the text was flagged as likely AI. Remember, you can compare the documents for yourself by following the link in the description. Let's check out the human writing. For this, we get a 100% match for plagiarism. It's saying that I copied this work from a source on the Rikon website. And before you go accusing me of plagiarism, this sample of human writing is a conference paper that I wrote in 2014, and Rikon was the research-led consultancy I was working for at the time. This is all above board. In addition to the 100% similarity score, you can also see a breakdown of all the sources flagged in the article that range from about 23% to less than 1%. Let's download the similarity report for this document. With authentic Turnitin similarity reports, the similarity index appears on the final page. With the Academy.cx similarity report, again, the report starts on page 2 and it gives the similarity score on the first page. Let's look at the AI report. Not much to say about this. The AI score is 0% with both the Turnitin and Academy.cx versions. The real report has a cover page on page 1. The Academy.cx report starts on page 2. Nothing is flagged, so it's kind of boring to talk about. Instead, let's check out the final document, the second ChatGPT essay, the one written in long-form prose. We get a 0% similarity score and 45% AI score with Turnitin. We also get a 0% similarity score with Academy.cx. Nothing interesting to say about this report other than the positioning of the score compared to the authentic report. The 45% likely AI score that we get from Academy.cx is the same as what we got from Turnitin. And as we scroll through the report and compare the parts that are flagged, we can see that the parts in blue, parts that were flagged as likely AI-generated writing, are the exact same 
between the two documents. So what did we learn from all of that? If you want to know your Turnitin similarity or AI score, and you don't want to ask your lecturer or professor for some reason, Academy.cx will give you a brilliant idea of what these scores are likely to be. The scores between the two tools matched perfectly for every document we tested except for the AI score for the original ChatGPT essay. Academy.cx said that the AI score was 13%, which is possible, but for to accurately match Turnitin, the correct score is unknown or asterisk. Mind you, 13% is between 1 and 19%, so it ain't wrong. Academy.cx say that they are scanning uploads using Turnitin and confirm to users that the work will not be added to Turnitin's databases. I checked this by rescanning the documents that were tested in this video. Academy.cx offer a very limited free version with one upload per day and similarity information or a pay-as-you-go option that costs $2 per upload for similarity and AI reports. However, the pro version for $11 a month, the one that I used in this video, seems to be the best option. I don't recommend this tool. I recommend that you ask your lecturer or professor if you have any concerns about your work. They will help you for free and provide authentic reports to you. Save your money for unavoidable expenses or to support this channel by becoming a member. However, if you are curious, Academy.cx does offer a very high degree of similarity to Turnitin and doesn't cost the earth. You do you, I'm not going to judge. And that's it. That's the video. Thank you for watching. Become a member to support the channel and get my future videos early or ever. If you value this channel, I need your support to keep making videos. I appreciate you Burning Potato 77 and B Murphy, and I'll see you in the next video.